Well, the role of technology is really important for mayors and city leaders as they're planning to deliver services to their citizens. And many of the challenges they're facing in terms of urbanization, in terms of uh, traffic management, in terms of the policing and uh, health and safety, uh, really needs to rely on technology in order to make things work really well. Technology equalizes everybody because everybody now has a cell phone and uh, you can connect with anyone, anywhere. And this is where it is good, whether you're young or old. The most uh, effective way to build a smart city is to creating the community for smart people. And technology will en enable uh, uh, a citizen engagement a lot. They don't have to travel so far to see the mayor of the city. They can just sit in front of their PC or mobile phone and report things. Uh, I believe the digital technology is uh, always uh, the important issue we have to pursue in order to improve our performance of our government because communication is always an uh, uh, important issue for people to talk and to give ideas. Through collaboration of cities and the use of data and technology and sharing information, we really can make it a better place for all of us to live in. I wish you'll have more of these surveys. I like the survey, it opened our eyes and in fact it shocked some people because they said, really? Whereas it confirmed the findings of other cities. And like, I would go back to the Philippines and I'll talk to them about the results of the survey of Manila. And I would tell them, we better wake up, wake up on the feelings and the perception of the young because the young are the ones who are really more concerned. I think this, the, the finding itself uh, demonstrates to the practitioners, policy practitioners, that where exactly the needs and desire and aspiration of the young generations are lying in. So I think that's uh, to reflect the voices and the needs of those younger generation is the key thing that we could uh, embrace from the findings. I was with Microsoft, uh, with Stefan in Nepal, and with CityNet and CityNext, we came up with the city apps. And I found the enthusiasm of the young really very encouraging. So uh, by having a smart city, of course, we are uh, helping uh, people to uh, get closer to the government. And uh, another message that we could uh, take back home is that the, uh, most of the cities in the Asia Pacific are faced with common challenge. Youth unemployment, the public safety and security, pollution, transportation. So I think this, there is more needs for cities like Seoul, Tokyo, Yokohama, Singapore, a bit developed cities to share their experiences and know-how and expertise and lessons with other peer cities who are less equipped and less resourceful. It is really good to learn from others, right? Instead of doing the same mistake again and again, just come here and then asking how to solve this problem, how to solve those problems, and then if you can find the answer, and then it's good. So we don't need to make a, another mis the same mistake. So this event is really help us to move forward efficiently and effectively. Microsoft is the global powerhouse in the technology sector and most Australians are very familiar with the company and trusted implicitly. Uh, what I learned here today was uh, that there is a product called City Next and I will be going back to my city and seeing if we can look into that and how it works and how it may affect our city. I think today uh, here in Singapore it's been a great example of that because today we launched uh, with the Singapore government uh, the uh, Conversations as a Platform which is this great way uh, for citizens to engage with government essentially using natural language and using our technology and so and this is a great opportunity for us to pilot something here. Um, it's, a, it's an experiment to some extent, um, you know, prove the concept and then take it everywhere. I mean I do think it's the future, it's a real future platform for us.